Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MSFT webcast. In this video, we will see the steps on how to seize the FSMO roles in Active Directory. It is not always possible to anticipate the removal of an operation master role holder. Consequently, if a domain controller hosting one of the operations master roles becomes unavailable and you cannot quickly and easily get it operational again, you might consider seizing the operations master roles held by the failed domain controller. Remember, never seize a role unless it is your last resort. If there is a temporary downtime for a DC hosting a role, don't worry about it. Your network will survive a short time without it. Seizing FSMO roles is not a graceful process and is intended only to be performed when the unexpected occurs. In order to seize the RID master, PDC emulator or infrastructure master, you will need to be logged in as a domain admin. To seize the schema master or domain naming master, you must be logged in with a schema admin or enterprise admin permissions respectively. If you are seizing the RID master or schema master, you must ensure that the domain controller holding either of those roles is never brought back on the network without being forcefully demoted or erased. I recommend that you immediately perform a metadata cleanup of the domain controller in question once the role is transferred. You can use GUI management tools, NTDS util and PowerShell to seize a role. But I suggest that you use a Windows PowerShell to seize FSMO roles, as this option is very easy to follow. Each role is assigned a number identifier as described in this table. This video will demonstrate the steps using two domain controllers. WS2022-DC01.MSFTWebcast.com is the failed domain controller who is the current owner of all 5 FSMO roles. While WS2022-DC02.MSFTWebcast.com is the additional domain controller to which we will forcefully transfer the FSMO roles. All the 5 FSMO roles were on DC01, so we are going to seize all the 5 roles to DC02, which is our ADC. Before proceeding with the steps, make sure about which DC is holding which role. You can verify it by using NatDOM query FSMO command. Right click on Start menu and select Windows PowerShell Admin. Type NatDOM query FSMO and hit Enter. As we can see, currently WS2022 have a DC01 is holding all 5 FSMO roles. For example, to seize the PDC emulator, RID master and infrastructure master roles and assigning them to WS2022-DC02 domain controller, use the command move-ad directory server operation master role-identity WS2022-DC02 operation master role 0 1 2 and hyphen 4 switch. Here, hyphen identity switch specify the destination domain controller name and hyphen operation master role specify the FSMO role which we want to transfer. And in this case, we are seizing the FSMO role, so we have to specify additional switch hyphen 4. Now hit enter to execute this CM delete. Either type Y to prompt on each role move or type A to accept all prompts. Here, I am going to type A to transfer all roles at a once and hit enter key. It will first try to contact with the existing FSMO role holder master and wait for its reply. If it not received any reply from the current FSMO role master, then this process will start the seizure of FSMO role. The process to seize the PDC emulator, RID master and infrastructure master roles and assigning them to WS2022 and DC02 will take some time, so you have to wait for a few seconds. Okay, the command executed successfully. 
type NetDOM query FSMO and hit enter. As you can see, currently WS2022-DC02 is holding all three domain-wide FSMO rules. PDC, RID Pool Manager and Infrastructure Master. Now, let's seize other two forest-wide FSMO rules and assign them to WS2022-DC02. Type command move-ad directory server operation master role of an identity WS2022-DC02 of an operation master role and this time specify number 3 and 4. Hit enter to execute this CM delete. Type A and hit enter transfer all roles at a once. Again, the process to seize schema master and domain naming master FSMO role and assign to WS2022 have DC02 domain controller will take some time. You have to wait for a few more seconds. Okay, the command has been executed successfully. Again, run the command netdom query FSMO to see the name of current role owner DC. Verify that WS2022 have an DC02 is currently occupying all 5 FSMO rules. That means the process to seize FSMO rules in Active Directory using Windows PowerShell is completed successfully. There are also other options to seize FSMO rules like NTDS Util and Active Directory users and computer snap-in, but seizing the FSMO rules to a new server with Windows PowerShell is much faster and easier. In this video, you learn how to seize FSMO roles in Active Directory with Windows PowerShell. That's all for this video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.